What? We saw. <laughs> Sanic. Well, you're not gonna randomly do Pennywise this time. I thought about it. <laughs> I was like, uh, that, he's kind of done done to death. So yeah. <laughs> oh, you knocked the microphone. How could you? Yeah, I know. Ah, let's see I if don't that know, shock mount's doing good. I nah. I don't know where to put my water. There we go. <laughs> so, help to remind me. What happened in the Sonic movie again? Uh, hmm. Without spoilers. What, what, what did you think? Did you think okay. it was a good movie? Yeah, let's do the non-spoiler bit first. Um, it was better than I was expecting it to be. I actually thought it was pretty good for what it was. Spoiling mm. anything. I just I thought it was really cute. I I laughed at a lot of jokes that maybe I shouldn't have laughed at, but like it's like the jokes were dumb but the the comedic timing made it work somehow. I thought it was fun and okay. <laughs> Mostly okay. It was not awful. <laughs> it's definitely not awful, surprisingly. It was a very good 1996 Six comedy movie that came out in the year 2020. <laughs> yeah. It was Sonic versus Jim Carrey. <laughs> it's, really hard to Jim go, Carrey. it's really hard to go wrong with that. Yeah, well, the problem is it was 1996 Jim Carrey, not 1993 Jim Carrey. So, But yeah, it, details, details, details. Yeah. <laughs> you know a lot more about Jim Carrey than I do. <laughs> Just a bit. I don't know. I kind of lost track of him after about 96. I really love The Mask, and that's most of what I've seen with Jim Carrey in it. <laughs> I thought this movie was about cable guy level. <laughs> Take th from that what you will. I was gonna say, <laughs> is that bad? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's not. It's not. Oh wait, it's not bad. It's it was um it was okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I liked it. Um, I liked it better than uh, Detective Pikachu. Although Detective Pikachu was was wasn't as good as I was expecting it to be by the trailer, but Aww. I think I like this better than Detective Pikachu. So there's that. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought it was really cute and fun. It's hard to... I think our opinions don't matter much when we saw how the kids reacted to the movie. Oh my god. <laughs> the kids went ape over this movie. They loved every minute of it. They were going wild. And uh, I don't want to spoil it, but like even at the very end, I saw... that During a certain uh, mid-credits sequence. Oh, um, yeah, they, they saw something, and there was kids literally, like, spinning around on the ground. <laughs> I, I am I think not they joking. Were, I think they were just doing that anyway, because the movie was over. But there were a lot of kids screaming and stuff when a certain thing was revealed. I have never seen kids go that crazy for, for, for a movie. I'm sorry. <clears throat> no, they weren't just going crazy just because the movie was ending. They were happy because they saw something, and they were spinning around <laughs> and running around and smacking things. They were going crazy. I don't so know. yeah, this movie is going to be a mega, mega success that people are going to come back to decades from now and say, oh, it was the Sonic movie, I remember that. It was okay. <laughs> it was pretty good. <clears throat> yeah. It was really, really cute. Like, I keep saying that, but it's true. I, I don't know how else to describe it except cute. If you like cute things, you, you'll like this movie. <laughs> how did Sonic look? Sonic was adorable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Much improved from the uh, first trailer that came out where he oh, looked like, God. um, bit crap. Yeah. So they had to hire a bunch of people to work double, triple overtime to fix him. Mm -hmm. And they fixed him up good. He looked really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sonic looked great. Yeah. I liked the music score. I liked the CG. I liked, um, I mostly liked Jim Carrey. I, I liked it. Yes. <laughs> I'll tell you what I didn't like was that the movie was very, very, very... Very Hollywood. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, it was not just with the Hollywood-esque jokes, but, like, um, I guess what I didn't like was that the movie was very advertising. Mm. It's advertised so many other movies. Olive Garden. <laughs> no, not just Olive Garden. No, I mean, like, it advertised a whole bunch of movies that they had, that they had oh, the rights to and stuff. Oh, I forgot All, about uh, that. Tons of them and name-dropping people and just mentioning movies like, oh, there's Men in Black and then... Oh, there's oh, speed, right. and then you briefly see like f four seconds of Naked Gun, and then oh, is that what that was? Yes, I saw Leslie yes. Nielsen. I was I couldn't couldn't tell what movie it was. But it, this movie is like a giant advertisement for other <laughs> properties that are owned by um I guess it was Paramount or whatever wow. or CBS. But it's like yeah, watch all this other stuff too, and you'll come back 15 years and say oh I remember that yeah yeah yeah. 
Yeah, it was a I little guess, much. I guess there was a ridiculous amount of movie references. I guess I'm just so used to that sort of thing, I didn't even really think much about it. Much more than I'm used to, and it <clears throat> bothered me a <clears throat> lot. So, but yeah, that that dragged down the movie quite a bit. But uh, hmm. other than that, it was it was still fun. But oof. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe on a second viewing, I'll notice that more. But I just I didn't really. Maybe like I said, maybe I'm just so used to seeing that sort of thing. I'm used to it too, but not to the degree <laughs> that was in this movie. <laughs> Ooh, but it's okay. It's all good. So. Yeah. So. Uh, I guess I guess this is where we wrap up the spoiler-free part. Um, Spoilers alert! We so are getting spoiled. I I I'm having a hard time to thinking of things to say about it without spoiling anything. But I I did like it honestly. Like Sonic looked great. He was freaking adorable. Um, a lot of the jokes with Sonic that I thought were a little bit thin in the trailer actually kind of worked in the context of the movie. So it was the movie was actually quite a bit better than I was expecting. So there's that. It wasn't. I wouldn't call it a great movie, but it was. It was really cute and it was really fun and you know mindless entertainment. So yes. it's a freaking Sonic movie. I don't know what <laughs> what more you would really expect. Sonic and the buddy cop on go on a road trip and it was fun and they were mm -hmm. they were cute together. So, the Adventures of Sonic and Cyclops. Oh yeah, he was Cyclops, <laughs> wasn't he? Yep. <clears throat> Bear. And this movie treated him with a lot more dignity than X Men Three did. But Bear. anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so, uh, spoilers. Not a major spoiler, but I love that, uh, I love that, uh, Sanic made an appearance in this. Yes! <laughs> because 10 out of 10 movie! It's so funny because you kept joking, let's go see Sanic. <laughs> and so, you were actually kind of right. <laughs> we saw Sanic on the big screen, so. The crazy old man drew Sanic and then drew, threw a picture up there and he's like, <gasps> And I was like, oh, this is going yeah, to be a, the greatest movie There ever. was a, a crazy guy. So Sonic was in hiding, and uh, he was messing with this guy who, uh, you know, swore up and down he saw Sonic, and, and he was trying to tell people about it. He called him the Blue Devil, and he was trying to tell people about it, and they all thought he was crazy, and he holds up a picture. This is a drawing I did, and it looks like Sanic. It, looks ex it is just, it is an exact drawing of Sanic. It was literally Sanic. It yes. was really funny. It's like oh, a true legend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite part of the movie, pretty much. <laughs> the movie peaked there for you. Yeah, and that was like, what, only like six minutes in, so, yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah, um, um, but yeah, it's Sanic backstory. He had little baby Sonic running around. Uh, destroying his little world, and, and it looked like a the old Green Hill Zone and stuff. And, uh, oh yeah. And apparently he has an owl mom. <laughs> I'm curious where they got that from. If if that's even from anything from the games. It could or... be from anywhere. It could be from comics. It could be from. Yeah. Well, not from uh, the games, I would assume, but. Yeah. I don't remember yeah. because I I don't remember my Sonic lore. I watched the cartoon so many years ago, and it's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, um, the, the <laughs> owl mom gets killed by Knuckles family. Were those echidnas? Yes, they were. I thought I thought I thought I should know what those things were, but I wasn't sure at the time. Holy shit, that might uh yeah. that could lead into a sequel. Yes, huh. it could. <laughs> anyway, what happened in the movie then he escapes <laughs> to Green Hills. <laughs> Green yeah, that Hills. That was silly. Lives in a cave like freaking Buster Bunny or something. Bugs <laughs> Bunny and reads his Flash comics while well, the movie did uh, prove one thing. He is most definitely the fastest <laughs> thing alive. Yeah. He's able to pretty much move faster than time itself almost. And yeah, he is stupid fast. He so can play he... baseball with himself. I thought I saw someone mention this somewhere on the internet. Is he actually able to... What was that? Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> is he actually able to stop time in the games? Is there like... No, I don't think... Some power-up or something? He's not like a JoJo villain. He's not Dio. I think he just moves so <laughs> fast that it makes it look like they're not moving. That was what I assumed, but I thought somebody said something about him being able to stop time no, or something. No, he okay. can't stop time. I think he's just really, 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 really fast. For the, for the record, like 90% of my uh, experience with Sonic is Sonic and Knuckles. <laughs> I haven't played, like, too many of the games. You mean you haven't played the masterpiece? The wonderful... <laughs> 
Um, you can't ever say anything bad about it. Sonic <laughs> Adventure 2. No, nope, I missed out on that game game one. Ever. <laughs> I love that game, by the way. I really do. I'm, I'm honest. I love it. He he he. Anyway. <laughs> uh, uh. Sonic's in Green Hills and he. He's been looking over the townspeople for 10 years and everything. He's gave them all nicknames. He hangs out with them, but he's all so lonely. And it made Dina go, oh, I'm so sad. Well, his eyes are so big and he's so cute. I felt bad for him any time he was sad. <laughs> she was so sad, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you felt for the little guy. So obviously whoever did the CG on Sonic really did oh, a good God. job because had, had he looked like trailer one, she would have been like, who cares about this ugly ass blue rat? <laughs> yeah, Sonic was super expressive. Yes, he was. He had a soul. He was almost express as expressive as the dog from that trailer for that movie, Call <laughs> of the Wild. That's the, the, the super CG dog. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> tangent? Tangent, but uh, yeah, apparently they're making a movie adaptation of Call of the Wild and the dog apparently is completely CG. <laughs> Which, I kind of like it. <laughs> okay, let's, let's just steer back to Sonic okay. now. Okay. <laughs> He, get, he, 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 he wants to, he screws around with the cop, and then, um, yeah. There was one line in the original trailer, which, um, you know how sometimes trailers, they'll splice things together to make it look like one thing happens after another, but it doesn't in the actual movie? Mm, mm. There was an exchange that was in the original trailer and that I loved, and it turned out to actually be in the movie the same way it was in the trailer. It was mm. where where Sonic is all, is that all you got? And Robotnik says, no, but thanks for asking. No, but thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It was actually in the movie. I was so happy that was in there. Well, of course. No, but thank you for asking. <laughs> that was very 90s Jim Carrey. <laughs> it was very Jim Carrey. I loved it. Yeah, it's definitely appropriate. Uh, He's... This is a very 1990s <clears throat> movie. <clears> hmm. <throat> Somewhat late 90s, but it was... It was, it was well, exactly Sonic like is that. a very 90s character. Yeah. And Robotnik, at least how, how he is in this movie, is a very 90s character. The movie felt very modern other than that, though. Just so everybody knows, there was no Gangsta's Paradise in, <laughs> in the movie or the end credits. I don't think so. It was interesting how many things from the original trailer ended up not in the movie. Like, in, even even aside from Sonic's redesign, it's like it's, it felt like they changed other things, too. Like, I, know, I remember a scene from the original trailer, and maybe they only did this for the trailer, maybe they didn't know how they were going to work out everything in the movie yet, but I, know, I specifically remember a scene where they're in the car and Sonic says something like, well, it looks like I'm going to have to save your planet. And I'm like, I was waiting for that line in the movie, I'm like, what's Sonic going to save the planet from? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, it's going to so. be on the cutting room floor, <laughs> I guess, so, yeah, we'll can't wait to see that director's it's cut. Maybe they'll they have extra it. ads for Kit Kats in there. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah, and uh, another thing that was in the original trailer that uh, Dr. Robotnik, with with his, uh, with his head shaved and he, looking like Robotnik from the games, and, uh, yeah, that was that was the post credit sequence like I expected it to be. Technically, it was a pre credit sequence, but, yeah. Yeah, I... <sighs> I wish the original trailer didn't spoil that, because I t saw it coming a mile away. As soon as Sonic mentions, uh, like, the mushroom world that he doesn't want to go to, I'm like, oh, that's where Robotnik ends up. Yeah. Some Hollywood movies love to ha do that. They'll like to, let's put in the friggin' very end of the movie in the trailer. That's so <laughs> great. Let's spoil exactly what happens. Ah. Yeah. But yeah, what I did like about, um... They also had nice little touches where when Robotnik shows up, they actually play a little homage to his Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog theme, which I did not know. Someone <laughs> had to spoil me on that. When I heard it, I'm like, oh my god, they really did do that. <laughs> so the meme lives on. Uh, it, was, yeah, it was a nice little touch. I would not have caught that because I never really watched the cartoon. And I didn't remember. I, it was really blatant, like one of the final scenes in the movie. They're playing, uh, I think it was Green Hill Zone from the first Sonic game? On a piano, Was yeah. that it? Yeah. yeah. It was pretty obvious, but it was cute. It was a nice little touch for the end. Yeah. It was like a little um, ending little ending theme for you. It's like, you beat the game. Yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah, you da, beat da, the da, da, silly da, da, game da, da. for this amazing... Uh, <laughs> if I had to give it a score out of 10, um, 
5.75. So it exceeded expectations. <laughs> Yay. I thought it was going to be a five and a half movie. <sighs> it, was pretty, it, was, it exceeded expectations. Yeah. Okay, so as for that uh, mid credit sequence, uh, Tails shows up, which <gasps> I did not see that coming at all, so that was pretty cool. In fact, I was even thinking towards the end of the movie, I'm like, wait a minute, so Sonic came to Earth when he was very small... So he doesn't make it, he didn't make any, like, animal friends, so I wonder if they're ever going to be able to add any, you know, have any of the other characters in a sequel or something, and I didn't know how that was going to work, and then they reveal Tails at the end, and all the kids in the theater were like, ah! (laughs) This movie is going to make money, and yeah, I mean, judging by how the kids reacted, um, (laughs) they are going to make a sequel to this. Yeah, I made a joke about how, uh, you know, the, uh, the scene with Robotnik, uh, from the trailer was obvious sequel bait for a sequel that was never going to happen but uh i don't know how well this movie is doing but i know people are liking it so it's it could it could definitely I, have a sequel i know it was definitely sold out but i mean this was like first day but uh you know but just yeah, judging the by how the kids packed. reacted oh man <laughs> i did not expect that but yeah this is a kids movie this this is a kids movie through yeah and through. it's probably got some like Slightly adult jokes. I didn't in it. remember I them. Remember. I didn't remember. I don't recall them sneaking in anything like mature or anything like that. Which I'm kind of glad because sometimes it's sort of cheap when they do that. I guess the only thing mature in it was Robotnik being a jerk to everybody. <laughs> that was like the most hostile thing. Is he was just a total monster. God, he just like that's. It, they have Robotnik being that sort of person that just hates other people. <laughs> yes. He hates everyone. But he has awesome toys though. Yeah. I want all of his electronics and technology. I want all of that. <laughs> I could use all of that, but not be a butt about it. Mm-mm. Meh. Meh. <laughs> I like the ending sequence where they took everything from the movie and they made it into like a Sega Genesis style. Oh yeah, that was cool. Stuff complete with like either the 2D scenes or the uh, the special stages. That was that was, <laughs> that was that was amazing. Oh god, yeah, when Sonic was uh, beating Robotnik at the end and like slamming into the slamming into his spaceship or well, not spaceship, but whatever you would call that thing. That felt very much like a boss battle in a Sonic game. Yeah. Cuz that's what you do. You just bounce yourself off of him and that's what he was doing. I wonder if they did attention to detail cool. and hit him like 20 times, which is I think how many times you had to <laughs> hit him in Sonic 2. I don't remember, but Good question. They hit him I, a lot more than 8. I know he hit him a lot of times. Yeah, he walloped him. It was great. It was everything was a blur. It was moving so fast. Yeah. So what do you think? Was Jim Carrey the perfect cast for Robotnik? He was an unusual cast, but I thought it worked. <laughs> I think it was a great way to get people to come in. A great way to get the older audience to That's come true. in. That's true. So this this movie brings in the kids, and it also brings in the older audience. Because mm-hmm. it, uh, it, did, it, it did a very good job. It, yeah. It, it, it got me. It, I, it marketed me very well, because now lo- I no longer care about Valentine's Day. Now today is Sonic Day. On, <laughs> on February 14th, must play Sonic games. Must watch the Sonic movie. <gasps> I love um, Sonic. Any excuse to play Sonic games is a good one, right? Well, it depends on the game, I guess. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. I keep meaning to play Sonic and Knuckles again. I have It's been ages. I like the Officer <laughs> Man because he was a hero. Yeah, he was a good guy. He was a good guy. He was a fun character. Yes. And of course, Sonic got in a bar fight. Oh, yeah. How did I forget that? And he won. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> I mean, he won in one move. He beat everybody up in one move. Because he's fast. <laughs> they, they, he slowed down time enough and just messed everyone up, even like toilet paper wrapped somebody and hooked something up so that, like a, some kind of pointy thing went into somebody's butt, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and, and, hmm. I don't know if I remember that part. Yeah, that guy was feeling a little funky after that. <laughs> he... And in case you couldn't tell, this is like way late for us. It's like I've been up since, I don't know, I've been up for like 16 hours. Yeah, well, I got so up. At... It's my bedtime. Uh, yeah. I'm old man. <laughs> I got up about 6, and it's like 9.45 p.m. right now. So. I don't know, imagine us, what <laughs> we're talking about, like only being up the normal hours. It's almost as if we're old. <laughs> <laughs> But we loved Sonic. This made a, this made me feel like a kid again. Not as much as the kids that were on the floor spinning around like they were the Three Stooges. Like, whoa. 
I did not think Tails would make them react that way, but apparently so. I so. don't think they were even paying attention no, to the movie by that, that kid, point. That kid was paying attention. Maybe to the, the re whole reason that kid was spinning around was because of Tails and because the song was called Spin Around. <laughs> the kid was completely entranced okay. by this movie. Three of them, actually, but the one was spinning. Oh, my God. Whoa. Is there anything bad about the movie other than the advertising? Um, Some of the jokes were kind of lame. Most of the jokes worked for me, to be honest. I oh. don't know. Humor subjective, but... Oh. I was actually, like, I laughed at a lot of stuff that I, I guess I said this earlier, I laughed at a lot of stuff that I, I probably shouldn't have laughed at, but just because the comedic timing was so good. Like, that scene where they there there's this big armored car, and then, like, a littler vehicle comes out of it, and Sonic goes, that tank just had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> well, at least there was, um... I just, I don't know, and then I laughed at that, and I immediately, like, that was dumb. Why'd I laugh at that? <laughs> It's just like the way you said it. I, I did guess. tell Dina to be prepared for poop jokes, but at least they didn't make poop jokes. Only like four or five only... fart jokes. I... Oh wait, no one. There was one. I remember one, maybe two, but probably one. Well, one was half fart, half poop joke because uh, Sonic had his first chili dog. Oh. <laughs> and uh, I, I think him farting there was actually appropriate since chili dogs do make you fart. They, they, <laughs> they, they do. They Fair do. Enough. So. And yeah, it's like a cop dude's like, oh, you might want to check your trousers after that one. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I could have done without yeah, that. Yeah, Sonic could have, because who knows? He might have the fastest farts in life, too. Who knows <laughs> what the heck's going on with him? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> the fastest digestive system alive. Mm, all the oh, man, now that I think about it, I'm, I'm just starting to wonder. Like, I'm looking at this this panda face right here, and I wonder if, like, the, in the first trailer, Sonic looked even worse than this. <laughs> Possibly. I know he didn't. He did not look right. I don't remember the animation being bad. Although, I don't know. A, a lot of people disliked it more than I did. I didn't like it. I but... thought they made it look bad on purpose, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> they just really... They really messed up. They really didn't know what the fuck they were doing. <laughs> Dina, language. <laughs> Whatever. Like, this is a kid's movie. We're not kids, but still. <laughs> but yeah, adults should see this movie. Kids should see this movie. Just um. Everybody should see it. Uh, hmm. Maybe in theaters if you must, but again, as I said, it's not really a. It's it's an okay movie, <laughs> just just which is b much better than it has any right to be, considering mm -hmm. it's a Sonic movie and it. You would think it'd be terrible, so I guess. Oh my God. I think I liked um, it better than you did. What? Wreck It Ralph doesn't really count as a video game movie because it, uh, like how about a movie based mm -hmm. on a character would this be the best video game movie based on a character <sighs> other than well i don't know if we can count that weird phoenix Wright movie from japan i haven't seen that one in a while <laughs> that was a fun one though uh, what have we am i forgetting some movie that is other than wreck it uh, ralph we need to watch the sequel to that by the way um, but, oh um, that's right we still haven't seen that uh, i mean i i still think mortal Kombat's probably the best video game Movie, it's not. But... It's not. You think this is better? Yes. See, the thing I is... I think Mortal Kombat is shot better and has better ideas, but mm -hmm. it kind of... It's, well, see, this it's is not perfect. Kind of a different type of movie because it's not based on any one game. It's more... It's based on the character, It's based though, on the character, yeah. Which I think is... I mean, it's... Yeah. Best, char best movie based on the character, I guess. Yeah. I mean, Mortal Kombat also is, is, is Mortal Kombat is, is is just barely not as good. <laughs> wow, that's pretty sad that uh, I I think a movie that's not even six out of ten might be the best video game movie. It's not Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> I'm sure I'm forgetting something. There might be some movie that came out like last year. I think it's like really great. It's like I don't know. Was there did Tetris the movie ever come out? Clearly, the best video game movie is Cloak and Dagger. <laughs> How? <laughs> Um. Yeah, let's let, let let's talk about cloak and dagger sometime. People what, like what? people are like cloak and the what now? <laughs> Nobody knows what that is. Yeah, probably. it's Atari fifty two hundred, the movie. Haven't you ever seen it? Duh. <laughs> uh, anyway. That's anyway, a, that's, that's a subject for another video. To be continued. Yeah. Uh, done, I think we? we're about done because I'm tired. I'm really fucking tired. That was an adventure. I have a lot of video editing ahead of me. Yes. I'm not even talking about this video. <laughs> I... W I love and hate that movie. <laughs> because 
They got my money. And even though I know the sequel is going to be probably even more offensive, <laughs> I'm going to watch it anyway because Tails is in it. And I, <laughs> and I figure, you know what? Maybe they'll give me a solid 6 out of 10 movie next time. <laughs> Which yeah. is really good for a video game movie. I'm pretty sure I liked it better than you. Again, you know, maybe yes. on a second watching I'll be a little more picky. But I did really enjoy it. I thought it was really, really cute. And, you know, uh, like I said, it's mindless entertainment. That's just... That's just pretty much what I expected, and it's what I got. So, <laughs> I'm happy with it. I wish I wish uh, Robotnik's <laughs> agent uh, stood up to that piece of crap. Oh yeah, I thought something was gonna happen with that guy because they had him. Um, well, my avatar just freaked out because I was scratching my nose. Anyway, um, yeah, I thought they were gonna do something with that because they had him commenting on how Sonic and the the and the cop guy were like, wow, they're they're really survivors or something to that effect. I thought he was maybe going to like go behind Robotnik's back and help them or something. Oh, no, he wasn't going to do that. He's totally in love with Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> oh, there's something... Uh... Oh, I just forgot what I was going to say. I just remembered something I was going to say and then I forgot it. Oh, uh, I like that they worked in the, the name Eggman. Because uh, I, I thought... I remember seeing the trailers and the stuff, and I'm like, oh, they're going with Robotnik? Okay, well, yeah, I mean, Americans are more familiar with the name Robotnik, I guess. And he Not doesn't, anymore, he no, doesn't, no. He doesn't exactly look like an egg in this version, so, okay, I guess. And then, next thing you know, he's got these little uh, drone things flying around that are, they basically kind of look like eggs, and so Sonic nicknames him Eggman, and he continues to call him Eggman for the rest uh, of the movie. I, so I thought that was cute. I don't know if they've dropped Robotnik, but I mean, they've been calling him Eggman since 1999 over yeah, here, well. Dean. It's been 21 years. And there's whole generations that don't know who the hell Robotnik is. Oh, that reminds Shut me. It's up. like, when they, they, they like, they, they had the, they had that silly scene from like, like government men from the government. It's like, what do we do? We need to send in the best. We send in the tech guy. It's like, oh no, not him. But he did all this stuff. It's like, yeah, but he's the best we get. I love that. That was such a movie cliche. There were quite a few movie cliches in this, but I feel like they knew what they were doing. Yes. You know? They and wanted it, to make a 90s funny. comedy, and they did. It was funny. I liked it. This was a 90s comedy, through and through. But with real life <clears throat> technology today, I don't know. It was fun. <laughs> it was dumb. It was... Oh, oh my, this is going quiet. Okay. It was fun. It was dumb. <laughs> it was there to grab my money. It was there to advertise all of the other properties that I need to go <laughs> buy and see again. It's, uh, it's, it, was, it was a Hollywood thing, and they made it work. <laughs> Somehow. Well, look, I'll say if you like Detective Pikachu, I'd say you'd probably like this movie. It had kind of a similar quality to it. I actually liked it better... But, yeah. Granted, I'm a bigger Sonic fan than I am a Pokemon fan, so I may be a bit biased there. But yeah, I thought it was at least as good as Detective Pikachu, so... But was it better than IT Chapter 2? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> hmm. I'd have to see that movie again. But you know what? I remember now. IT Chapter 2 was fun to watch, but when you actually go back and think about it, those problems. But, well, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, another day, another day. <laughs> wow. You should actually do a film den on that one. Yeah, someday. Someday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Then maybe a film den on Sonic 2. <laughs> there you go, when it's on DVD. <clears throat> or when the sequel comes out, whenever that's going to be. Because they, they have to put out one. I mean, that's this isn't true. like Super Mario Brothers where they teased the sequel and it didn't come out because it was a box office flop and it was a piece of crap. <laughs> I this was, is way better than the Super Mario Brothers movie. Well, I was that, so expecting sorta. that. I was so expecting that with this one, too. I was really, I'm like, they're going to have sequel bait at the end of this movie and there's never going to be a sequel because it's going to be terrible. <laughs> Though I need to go back and watch the Mario Brothers movie because they had lots of world building stuff and lore and stuff in it. It was it had writing yeah, people are problems. Getting, people but, are getting to a coming to appreciate that movie more lately it seems the set was pretty awesome i don't know so i mean that that's one thing it'll have over the sun <coughs> because the setting for sonic movie was like small town and san francisco so <laughs> it didn't have as interesting of settings only maybe we'll see the mushroom hill zone in the second one a little bit yeah more. And, and maybe the lava reef and maybe the, oh the flying battery that would be oh nice. I was, did you hear me joking about how when they were in egypt and i said hey it's sandopolis zone <laughs> If only Sandopolis Zone was as freaking easy as the movie made it look. We're gonna see some that spooky levels. ghosts in the next one. That level's a bitch. Yes, it is. <laughs> hmm. So yeah, I think we're about done. 
that's I, I've kind of run out of things to say. I think it. I liked it. It was really good. It was really cute. I recommend it. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's it for now. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I love you all. Be well. Aww. Mm. What he said. Mm. <laughs>